Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with the first installment of building the off-road charger from the upcoming movie Furious 7. This is something that's been in the planning stages for a while now, so I'm happy to finally get a chance to actually start working on it. And I'm kind of going about it by combining several kits. Uh, the chassis is from a NASCAR Pontiac. Dr. Cranky is currently working on a project where he notes the versatility of these kits, and uh, I couldn't agree more. Uh, it's something that in this particular case all I needed to do was I added an extra quarter inch here to the length and you can see that it actually fits pretty nicely. And what I did inside was because of the way that this one is made I just took the whole side section and slid that forward and what I'll do is I'll fill in these little gaps right here and you can see I'm working on the transmission tunnel there and that was just an ejector pin mark that needed to be cleaned up and the body is actually a combination of a couple of parts bodies that I had on hand uh, the main part is a Revell charger and you can see that the A-pillars are a little uh, damaged right there it's because I had actually ordered this through eBay for a totally different project, but the person shipping it to me didn't bother to pack it in anything other than an envelope, so when it arrived, this was crushed down. And uh, it's just kind of been sitting in the parts box waiting for something to do with it. And uh, as it turns out, this was a good project as any, considering the amount of other work that I'm going to have to do on the body and that the wing windows are going to go away anyway. Uh, this seemed like a good idea. And for the rear fenders, to belly those out like that, what I did was I had a spare General Lee body, and I cut the rear fenders off of that, and then bent them so that they were fit to the sides of the Ravel body. And it worked out pretty well, I think. Uh, you can see some stress marks on this fender where the plastic was bent. So when I did this side, I cut the uh, relief joints a little more deeply, and that worked out pretty nicely. And then I went through and I put Bondo spot glazing putty along the top edges. Uh, I also have strips of 10 mil by 80, and I did some very basic shaping. And once this is dried out, sometime tomorrow or the night after, I'll do some sanding on it and smooth it out a little bit better. And then I'll go through and I'll fill in these back areas a little bit more. And for the front fenders, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll take the front fenders from this General Lee kit, cut them off, and they'll just be grafted to the outside like that. Then the last thing is I started work on the engine. I've got the two halves glued together and I've got the transmission cut off. Like the Fast 5 charger, I'm going to be going with the Nitro Funny Car Hemi, so give it a little extra oomph. And that's about it. So overall, I think it's coming along not bad. Um, I kind of like the way those rear fenders look. I hope the front fenders work out just as easily. I'm really happy with how well the chassis fits in there. And overall, this is being a pretty fun project so far. Let's check back next week when I'll have the front fenders in place. I'll have more of the roll cage and the suspension built on the chassis. And I should have the engine, if not finished, then mostly complete. Thanks for watching.